Now, uh, it's a salad. Yes, we talk about the people So it's good to catch up with this. I think we are getting late, man. We have to start now. Does that mean we are the ones who are making it late? <laughs> I just meant we can have the further conversations and introduction on the road. Yeah. Okay. So is it done? Yeah, it's done. You want to take a look at it? Yeah, sure. It's mm, nice, man. Thanks. We better get going. Yeah, let's get going. So, how long has it been? I mean, you and photography. Exact years, I don't remember much. Mm. But it was a camera that my father bought. It was during my high school days. 
you know, I used to take pictures with that camera. And very soon I realized that I would like to be the person who stands behind the camera, not in front of it. That's interesting. So that means it's photography that made you end up with journalism. No, no, it's nothing like that. Then? Since I liked photography, my parents had this misconception that anyone who likes photography has to end up with journalism. And to be very honest, if I had any interest in journalism, it was all gone during the days of my bachelor's. And the sadder part is, I couldn't even convince them that I don't want to do masters. Then why are you here? You know, it's because, because of the traveling. You know, going to different places, seeing different people, getting in touch with their culture. Mm -hmm. That's what fascinates me. So, how do you find it here? Here? It's, it's great. You know, you grew up in one culture. You know everything regarding that culture. Mm. Then you suddenly go and you see another culture, which is completely new to you. And that is the kind of thing that you need as a photographer. You observe things. And when you get that kind of an exposure, that's, that's where your art sharpens. I guess I get what you mean. Who's making it late now? Well, uh, for now, hundreds of the beauty that was surrounded <laughs> by have been taking some photographs. So, did she manage to click some of her pictures today? Oh, no, but... <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah. Happen to happen. Yes, we So, let's make a move. Right?
The weather seemed very gloomy in the morning. Yeah. And now it's sunny. Thank yeah. God. It didn't rain. I don't know about that, but I'm starting to feel very tired. Okay. There's a log you want to sit for some time? Okay, sure. You told about your passion for photography, but you never told what you like photographing the most. Well, you know, it's, it's people. I like portraits. That's great. Well, I'm actually asking you this because there's something I want to share with you. Okay. Something quite personal. Something that I haven't even shared with some years. All right. If you think I need to know this, go on. Well, actually, my family is not from Shillong. There's a village near to the Bangladesh border, hidden between the hills. Okay. That is where our ancestral home is. And there's this black and white photograph with my grandfather. And I think it's the only photograph in the house. Or maybe even in the entire village. Yeah, okay. But then there's something abnormal in this photograph. What? Well, it was taken around 25 to 30 years ago by an outsider who happened to visit our village. And in this photograph, there's my grandfather and his friends. So what's abnormal about it? The abnormality is that among the old villagers in this photograph, whoever dies in real life also disappears from the photograph. What? Yeah, well, my grandfather clearly recollects that when this photograph was actually taken, there were four of them. But now, it's just my grandfather and his dearest friend. It's not those one of those magic or folklores, right? <laughs> well, you can't believe it, right? Wait, let me show you something. Yeah, so see. During my childhood, when I first came across this picture, there's only three. But now, here the next picture shows just my grandfather and his friend. And the interesting thing is that this spooky vanishing only happens with the film processed image and not with the digital one. It's mysterious. It's quite mysterious. Yeah. Do you think you might know any reason behind this? I don't know. And I can't reach any conclusion without looking at the photograph in real, you know. But then the photograph is in my village home. Yeah, so can't you take me there? Well, I can, but then it's a tiresome journey and there are no proper roads. Moreover, it's a small village. You won't even like it there. It's not the place. It's a picture. All right, let's see. It's getting late right now. Maybe we should get going. They may be waiting for us.
しね。Ini tu perlok bangga tak kena ya men? Keting perlok. Shang shang shang. Sit sit dong. Make yourself feel at home. I will just go get the photograph. Hello. So this is the mysterious photograph. Can you show me that photo in your oh. cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm clueless. It has been years since we were just sitting with that photograph like that. Tell me something. Would he mind if I would like to hear from him about the photograph? Who took the photograph? Who were with him? When was it taken? Yeah, why not? And uh, like, would he mind if I record him while he's saying those? Okay, I'll talk to him about it. Thank you. Actually, he's feeling quite insecure about being in front of the camera. Don't take him wrong. It's the disappearance which is making him hesitate. I understand that. Well, there's an alternative. Why don't you take from in the back? You don't have to show his face. Would you agree? Well, I'll talk to him about that. Didn't do he claim me to come out long? So hard, bye. He's okay with it. So are you ready? Yeah, let's start. So he to do what you do now, like you teach Mekalaya. Two young king, and dangerly he were king for all. Sun would say, and he to poor was a shunder. Nankong Badu, a sun boar langwa, German Suyam, did walk her dam. Nankong Badu, Siklat Nayapadi, young e. E. Ted out em, de he to do it. To let em. Ne rekan mo kila em rengay ong hi badu em rehi por shandun damling hado yap hi tu barafel hi ni por tulog ngay bay se nga pensakyan nga em re tu jingkan mo war kai se ini hatu dun tu paralog siyaw tenat bahase they are now to con root what he he we so one on he then and what do say on he what am I do in a piece can do yeah he had up and to suffering Japan young a two man he cannot was that but can come and let you to do it to play she won to start get me well and well to you you're he Yang sakit, siwaja kela. So how's it? It's good, but are you happy with all the narrator's face? The narrative is powerful, you know, and that is what matters at the end of the day. But I had a doubt. What? Related to the photograph? No, it's about the language. Is it Kasi that he was speaking? No, it's not Kasi. It's a tribal language. Tribal language? Yeah. My grandpa and my grandma migrated to this village with my father and his siblings. 
migrated from where? Migrated from the forest. You see, they were hunters and they were forced to migrate to this village when the government banned wood cutting and hunting. So we are a subtribe of Khasi okay. and we have our own language. Migration scattered a clan. So your grandfather doesn't speak in Khasi? He does, but his most preferred is our tribal language. My grandmother, she doesn't speak Khasi at all. And your father? Well, my grandpa made it very strict for all of us to learn the language so that we can converse with each other. I admire his intention. <laughs> yeah. You must be hungry now. Let's go eat something. Okay. Let's go. document a language within the fact that it's going to go extinct in your lifetime. Are you leaving? Yeah. I'm late and she's already waiting for me. Okay. You want me to buy something for you? I'll call you. Okay, fine. See you, man. See you. Hey Nafi. Tell me. Yeah? You know what I think I've solved the mystery. What mystery? The photographic mystery. How? Can you just really? answer some of my questions like patiently? Okay. You said your grandpa always preferred speaking in his tribal language with his people. But what is the language that he speaks in with his friends? Well, mostly in Khasi, his people from our tribe have started to prefer Khasi over native language. And the children? Um, the children, they were so young and once they started learning, they only learned Khasi, except for my father. Well then, that solves the mystery, right? How? I, I don't understand you. You leave it. Then are you going to the university? Um, day after tomorrow. Can you wait until then? Yeah, cool. Uh, cause right now I'm in the middle of something. Okay. No, but I think I have already solved the mystery. Okay then. See you on Monday. Bye. Okay. Okay, bye. Take care. So you solved the mystery? Yeah, kind of. Okay, tell me. I don't know how much accurate am I, but uh, it's based on certain facts that I've researched. Okay. You see, you told me that uh, your grandfather and his friends, they came from the forest to this village, right? Hmm. And when he came there, he tried to spread this language. Yeah. But tell me one more thing. For those people in that picture, hmm. their children and grandchildren, do they speak that language? No. They don't, right? No, no, they don't. That's where you have it. That's a mystery. Hello? Oi? How are you? Oh. Good to see you. Thank you. How are you? What happened? Any problem? Well, your calculations are very much accurate. My father called just now and that that grandfather is not there anymore. No. But he's still there in the photograph. Smiling. <laughs>